Today's training is going to start with common questions from staff and students about how to log in. We're going to look at converting a PDF, some solutions to make a PDF more interactive. We're going to look at reusing posts. It's a really easy way to share your resources between your year group classes. We're going to look at how to record your voice. I'm going to show a way to record your voice and attach it to your assignment. We're going to show how students can share voice videos and photos. I'll show you how you make an assignment with the option to attach a voice video or photo on either a student's desktop computer or if they have a mobile phone. We're going to look at how to convert a Word document, just like in the previous training where I showed you how to convert a PowerPoint to Google Slides, there's a way that you can convert your Word documents into editable Google documents. We're going to have a look at how to overview the grades, just a quick overview to see grades and engagement from all of your class. So a really common question we get is, how do you log into Google Classroom? You can go to their website, but I suggest looking here in your bento box. As you notice here, as we scroll through it, it's not here at the moment, but if I click on sign in and sign in with my teacher account, when I now click on the bento box, if we scroll down, you should see the Google services and one of those is the Google Classroom. Alternatively, if you've got a mobile phone or a tablet device, you can download the app. Here it is running on an Apple iPhone. One of the key difficulties parents are experiencing is receiving a PDF. They have no way of editing it, they have to print it out, get to fill it in and then photograph it. So we're going to look at how we can change that using a PDF converter. What we're going to do is convert it into an image. You can either use the Snipcut tool on your computer, if you're familiar with that, or you can use this website to upload the document and it converts it into an image file. This file will usually be called a JPEG file. Now I'm back in Google Classroom. I'm going to create an assignment and I'm going to create an editable drawing. So I click on create and select drawing. This is going to open up the drawing file in a new tab. So now within this drawing file, I can insert the JPEG that I've created. That's the converted PDF. So here it is pasted on the page and I can enlarge it using the corner. Now, if I want to make this interactive, I just need to add some text boxes where I want the children to write the answers. So depending on the skills and age of your students, you might have children who can draw their own text boxes. Um, if you want to do it your own, just make sure you check that the font sizing lines up. So I click on the text box and just draw them over where I want the answers to be. It's going to name the document and then I'm going to test that the font lines up.
Uh, just a reminder from the previous training, make sure that you select make a copy for each student so each student can have their own version of it. You can also create a topic to keep it organised and set a deadline. I love this feature of Google Classroom where you can reuse a previously made resource from another class. So for example, let's imagine this shared resource class is the one where myself and other colleagues leave some of their assignment templates and this book report here is what I want to share with another class. So I'm going to go into the class where I want to share it. I'm going to click create and this time I'm going to select reuse post. From here I see all the resources that I've shared in this class. But if I click on the back arrow I can go to my other classes, I can get the book report and once I've selected it Google will insert it into this class as a brand new assignment. One of the simplest ways of recording your voice and putting it into Google Classroom is using a free website called Vocaroo. There's no sign up or login needed, you just click on the red button, record what you want to say, click stop and then you can check it's OK, re-record it if you want and then when you're ready to save it and share it, you click on save and share, it will give you a link, you copy this link, you're going to use this in your Google Classroom assignment. by clicking on the add and share the link and from here you just paste it in how can a student leave video vocal or photo evidence here's an assignment I've made with some instructions so in the assignment you can see you can either attach a video, you can record your voice with a vocaroo, or you could upload a photograph. Here's where, from the pupil view, they would add their work. And here it is on a mobile. The student clicks on add attachment and from here they get options of attaching files, they can even connect directly to their camera to take a photo live. Word documents do require a purchase of Microsoft Office so ideally I'd recommend you make your resources in the Google documents. But here's an example, it's a sample document I've made in Microsoft Word. It contains an image, text formatting and hyperlinks. So let's see how to convert it. I'm going to click on the bento box menu and from here I'm going to navigate to Google Drive. This is your cloud storage. From here we're going to upload your Word document. This will be a docx file. Here it is being converted in Google's Google Documents. As you can see there, the formatting is pretty good. 
it's kept all the web links, it's kept the text wrapping and the image is there. You can see next to the title it says docx so it's still a Microsoft Word document at the moment so I'm going to click on file and save it as a Google document. It's going to open up another tab and it's going to convert it and save it in my Google Drive. I know it's been saved because it will say saved in the cloud up here. Then I can now close these tabs in Google Classroom I can make an assignment and when I go to add I go to my Google Drive this is where I need to make sure I don't attach the document X one, the doc X one I want to attach the Google one that's just been converted once I've found that I can add it as an attachment and again I just need to make sure that I allow every student to have their own copy and that's now an editable document. Google Classroom has a nice way of keeping organised. If you ever want to see which students are sending work in or who hasn't, you can just look at the grade section. Uh, on the top of the assignments that you've set, they'll be ticked or showing a grade if they're done. You should be able to see gaps. Uh, you can click on the student on the left to look at their work or click at the top to view any assignments from a particular lesson.